Hey everyone, it's Game Fruit Pub. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're finally hopping back into the CSGO after a long, long delay. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, talking about something a little bit different. Something I, I like doing commentaries on CSGOs more than montages. Uh, I don't really know why, but it's just something I personally enjoy doing a little bit more. So we're going to be going back into that today. Uh, we're going to be talking about CSGO's longevity and sort of the future of CSGO, if you will, and whether there is a future, whether there isn't a future, how I think that future is going to be, and and all that good stuff, really. So, I guess hopping into it, I'm not sure, first of all, how long this is going to be. It might be a shorter video, uh, just because there isn't too much I want to say on the subject, but it was something I thought I could bring up and maybe open up a discussion on the channel about what everyone else thinks the future of CSGO is going to be. Uh, so, CSGO is a few years old now. I mean, I've been playing it for, I think, a year and a half. There are other people who've been playing it for a lot longer than me. And uh, it, it is a game that has experienced some pretty good um, support over an extended period of time. The only game I could think of that probably, and I might just not be aware of other games, aside from MCMMO games, other games that have lasted this long as a relevant game, I, the only one I can really think of is Minecraft, which has been around for a few years as well. Uh, but CSGO is an interesting one because it seems like there's always displeasure within the community about the game but yet nobody stops playing the game and myself included I, i've constantly come on i've complained about smurfs i complained about hackers i've just complained about general game mechanics but yet i continue to play and so it was something pretty interesting and i was trying to figure out what it was that made me want to keep keep playing it and i think i i reached the conclusion that one of the things that really attracts me and i think other players as well to csgo is the competitive aspect is the aspect that even in call of duty you have your their league there they used to i don't know if they still do but they had like in black ops 2 they had like their league play but it just wasn't very comp like well organized in my opinion it wasn't as like well put together in the competitive nature as as something like this like csgo's competitive play and i guess i i, I don't really know why and maybe it was just because it's something i've gotten used to but i think that that works well obviously i still think the ranks don't really work the way they're supposed to but that's sort of another video altogether but i think that this is why csgo has been able to experience this continued success and so i think that csgo the devs are kind of playing with fire uh, w with their updates, when when they continue to ignore things that need to be fixed, things that need to be resolved, and continue to add things that don't really matter that much to the gameplay, um, I think that there's still some guns that are pretty overpowered, and there's still some things that are pretty underpowered. I think that the, a lot of the expensive pistols still are way, way too strong. And I think that... I, I, I don't know whether this is something that will ever be addressed in this game and to be completely honest with you i don't know if it's something that i even want to be addressed because the way csgo is going right now there's no inspiration for the devs of the game to consider making a new counter-strike game a game that's able to use better graphics better better things that are out there right now than than the game engines that they have right now um the, there's source 2 which isn't being used in csgo there's things that they can use to make a better first-person shooter game, a game with better graphics, a game with more legit physics, just things that are better altogether. And I guess that the delay, in my opinion, what I think the delay is, is how strong the competitive game is. But they need to sort of figure out whether they're going to keep appeasing to the casual crowd or the competitive crowd, because a lot of their updates, the R8, things like that, past updates that have come out, aren't really things that would be of much value to the competitive community and i think that the only reason that csgo or sorry like counter-strike isn't in the process of developing a new counter-strike game is because of that competitive community because i think a lot of the casual players would just buy the new counter-strike for the new graphics for the new game guns for the new skins for all those things and so i i think that in my opinion i'd almost rather a new game be be established and that's not because i don't like the game right now i do enjoy playing csgo quite a bit right now but i think that there is a way to mix in competitive gameplay with real world physics with real world um and like like prop activities and i think that it would be cool if on something like overpass if you threw a grenade at that wood boost spot the the wall fell down it's a wooden it's a piece of plywood like and things like that where if the map was more interactive i think personally on a competitive level it'd be better It'd be more like like sim simulation based, and maybe that's just a personal thing. And the other players who play a lot don't find it the same, don't desire the same things. But I really like, I, I would really like to see some more ambient uh, like features in the game, things that you can break, things that you can 
And I think it would add a whole other aspect to competitive play. It would open up more avenues for the map to be uh, used, for maps to be used in the game, and just sticking with the maps that are there right now. Think about it, if you wanted to, uh, in, in the new Inferno, you wanted to blow a hole into the old dark room and, and go, like, things like that. Dark room could have still been there. You could have blown a hole in the wall, gone through and gone out. Things like that where, because there isn't really realistic uh, activity of the map, it, it, I think, limits a lot of the things that are you're able to do in the game and i'm not not proposing that things like the cars that can explode and things like that because that just it, you have that happen too infrequently in the games like call of duty and you just end up dying by a random car like you don't know when it's going to explode you don't know when it's not going to explode and so that's not what i'm proposing i'm proposing that in the future game of csgo which i'd like to see eventually i think it'd be cool to see ambient things and things that this basically have the entire map be uh, like like active have the entire thing if you throw enough grenades at at a wall It'll fall down if you shoot a door It'll break down easier and that's pretty much the only thing that Cisco has right now But not every door has that I'm pretty sure the door on squeaky in cash doesn't have that if I remember correctly and Other things like if you throw a Molotov cocktail or an incinerary at, at a wood wall have the wall catch fire Like it doesn't make sense to throw an inc incinerary grenade at, at a, the wall on, on uh, In lake on overpass and have nothing happen or throw your fire at a bale of hay and the bales of hay don't catch fire. And I think it's just something that, that would make the game more simulation based. And I'm not saying you I want a full sim game. I mean, you can't even aim down sights in Counter-Strike. So it's not like it's something that, that is full sim. But I think that it's something that would make the game a little bit better. And it would make the game a little bit more fun to play. And a little bit in competitive, it would uh, give more opportunity for um, more unique plays. Because I think over time competitive play gets a little bit stale because there's only so many things you can do especially if you only play a group of maps like if you only play active duty chances are you're going to get three or four maps consistently and there's only so many different plays you can run on them right so it gets a little bit repetitive and i think that if you have other options other things you can other ways you can take site other ways you can defend the site things like that it really would make the game more uh more of a, a fun experience for everybody involved really and so i guess that's it uh, for for this, I, I didn't really talk about the future. Now that I think about it, but um, I guess I guess the video was more about what I want to see in a new Counter Strike game, which is what I would like to see. I, I'm not gonna I'm gonna make that clear. I would like to see a new Counter Strike game. I think that CS:GO has run its course. I think there's an opportunity for them to develop a new game, which could be just as popular, if not more popular, especially with the the bugs of Battlefield One and and the flop that was Counter Strike or not Counter Strike, the flop that was Call of Duty. I think there's a little bit of, of thirst for the FPS just a, a regular first person shooter game that works well that has good graphics but not i don't i'm not proposing anything over the top i'm not proposing battlefield s graphics this is some better graphics than we have now more realistic gameplay more realistic maps i think it'd be something that would make the game a lot better and i think that it's something maybe it's because i'm not originally from the counter-strike community i didn't grow up playing counter-strike i grew up playing call of duty and i came to counter-strike later but it's something that i would like to see and something i think would make the game a lot better as a whole but um, i guess let me know in the comments i guess the the question i'm gonna ask in this video is do you want to see a new counter-strike game or do you think that counter-strike uh global offensive is good enough and they should just stick with that and continue to provide updates to that game so be sure to let me know in the comments down below what you think and uh if, if there are any good answers maybe i'll if i'll do uh i'll feature them in the next commentary video i do for csgo uh which probably won't be the next one the next one will be a montage if i have some montage worthy plays but the one after that i imagine would be a a another commentary like i said i do enjoy doing these more uh but that's pretty much it if, uh, if you guys have anything else you'd like to, to let me know about what I've talked about in this video, about the future of Counter-Strike, about whether what you would like to see in a new Counter-Strike game, be sure to leave that in the comments down below as well. Aside from that, if you're not subscribed to my channel and you enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to check out my other content as well as subscribe. Um, and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your continued support. Uh, if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and a favorite and maybe share the uh, video with some of your friends. That is the only way for me to grow at this small rate. It's either that or bug people, and I don't like bugging people. So I pretty much rely on you guys to help me grow my channel, and I think that as as the channel grows, we'll be able to have more in-depth discussions in the comments and through my videos on things like this, on issues that I think are pretty cool to talk about and things that are pretty enjoyable for the community to discuss. And so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. 
um you should be catching another video on wednesday unless this is coming out wednesday which isn't unlikely i think this is coming out on a monday so i hope you guys have a good week i will probably see you wednesday and if not i will see you all on friday have a good one